the fade a nice gentle shot which you can play on demand whenever you need to this is a common shot which lots of people play anyway but if you did need to play it on demand because you need to get around an object or you need to make sure that you steer away from trouble then this is the shot to learn in this video I'm going to reveal all on how you can do that right away so let's get stuck in this is Nick Does Golf Hey golfers and welcome back to another video here on my channel Nick Does Golf. It's great to have you here for this one. Today we are talking all about the fade and the adjustments that you need to be making in order to hit the shot whenever you need it. Now you might actually play this shot already but do you play it because you want it or is it something that you just have to deal with because that's how you swing the golf club? Well in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can hit it efficiently whenever you need it out on the course. So let's take a look. So hopefully you've managed to check out the video that I did about the draw shot. Well, really, for the fade, you just need to do the opposite of what you did for that one. So let's take a look right away. So we're going to pretend that our target is over there again. 150 yards, we probably might need to club up for this one because the ball flight is going to be generally higher because we're putting that backspin as well as side spin on the ball for a fade shot. This time, because we're going to be aiming left, we're going to leave the club face where it is and rotate from there so as you can probably see the club face is open towards the target if we were to just swing normally and swing down that line hopefully we'll see that ball flight set off left and spin from there this is such an easy way to be able to do it and you can repeat this more often than not as long as we make sure our release pattern is good the club face is already open so if we wanted to keep that open from there that is going to help and encourage with that left to right ball flight. Again, the same as the draw, if we were to focus on our club path and what that was doing, then we need to make a few more adjustments. So if we were to imagine that the target is actually ahead of us and over the top of the camera, we would obviously aim left from here. We're gonna bump our ball position up ahead of center because this is going to encourage that over the top movement because we're hitting it later. And what I would look to do just to really enforce it rather than swinging from the top obviously we're still going to make sure that our hips are turning towards the target but I'm going to look at my left shoulder from here and see if I can set it off a fraction earlier than normal this is going to encourage that movement coming across this is really going to help that club path to come across the ball so with an open club face that's really going to generate some left to right spin and when you're hitting these make sure that you really exaggerate the shots and the feelings that you need to produce you only have to look as far as tiger woods and see the great shots that he's hit over the years and how he's managed to exaggerate these things i've seen many clips of him where he's finished with the club right around his head like that like arnold palmer that is a really good feeling to have in order for you to promote the spin that's needed for these shots so the fade is a more common shot which people tend to see out on the golf course whether it is intended or it's just something that they have to deal with because of their natural swing pattern if you can learn to control it it's not actually a bad shot to play if this is the case but if you can learn to play it on demand whenever you need to to get yourself out of trouble then this is ideal situation so if you found this content useful hit the like button and leave a comment down below let me know do you hit fades anyway or is this something that you need to incorporate into your game to help you reduce those scores of course hammer the subscribe button i'd absolutely love it to have you on board with this and make sure that you can follow me throughout my journey on the youtube channel as well as that i've got my social media links down in the description box if you haven't followed me already make sure you do that and interact with the posts that i put out i'd love to hear from you so I hope this has helped for you to be able to hit that nice big fade whenever you need to out on the golf course. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching and see you all on the next one.